Yeah. Late nights with early mornings with straight flights back to New Orleans, trying to stay focused on what's important. So I'm starting off with my Rimmel London Stay Matte and Transparent and I am using my E12 eyeshadow brush by Shani Cosmetics. And I've already applied my NYX eyeshadow base and skin tone so I'm going to set it with that transparent. I've also already applied my Revlon Color Stay and Caramel Foundation off camera. Next I'm going in with my 26 shadow eyeshadow and blush palette by coastal scents and i'm going in with that light brown shade and my crease as a transition color and i'm using my coastal scents brb so6 blending brush Then I'm just going to take my BH Cosmetics Fluffy Blending Brush and just blend out that color that I applied in my crease. Next I'm going in with that dark brown shadow and I'm using a Coastal Scents, Scents Tapered Blending Brush and I'm just going to use that to add more depth to my crease area. So I'm just going to apply that into the crease. And then I took my BH Cosmetics Blending Brush again just to uh, blend out the colors. Next I'm going in with my Maybelline The Blush Nudes Palette. And I'm going to be taking the light pink shade on the end. And I'm going to be applying that to my lid with my Coastal Scents. BRB S20 brush. It's like a flat, a flat shade of brush. And I applied some fix plus to my brush off camera. And um, to brighten that color up, I'm taking the shade that's to the left of that light pink shade and just adding that on top. Then I'm going to go in with that brown shade and I'm just going to add it to my crease with my Coastal Scents Tapered Blending Brush just to add more depth to my crease area. And again, I'm taking my Coastal, my BH Cosmetics. Next, I'm going to take this color on the top. And I'm going to um, use my Coastal Scents BRB SO5 um, brush. It's like a slanted blending brush. And I'm just going to apply that color to my brow bone area as a highlight. Next, I'm going in with my NYC Liquid Matte Black Eyeliner, and I'm just going to add a wing to my eyes. And I just wanted to show you guys how I create my wing. I kind of make a line in the, the middle and then I do the outer and then I just connect it and fill it in. Next I'm going in with um, Bit of Fix Cosmetics, their Real Mascara, and just applying some of that to my lashes before I put on my false lashes. And next I'm taking my L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer Corrector in 303 Medium and I'm going to take that on a damp blendy, beauty blender and apply that as a highlight to my under, my under eye area. Um, 
my nose and my forehead and a little bit on my chin. And I do like this concealer. It's a full coverage um, concealer, so. Take every single piece of the blame if you want me to But you know that there is no innocent one in this game for two I'll go, I'll go, and then you go, you go Next I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Conceal and Cool Tan And I'm just gonna go over that highlight to add a little bit more yellow back into um, the color And I'm gonna add it to my jawline area to add a highlight underneath my uh where i'm gonna put my contour then i'm gonna take my la girl pro conceal in dark cocoa and i'm just gonna apply that as a contour And I'm going to blend that out with the, the bottom or the end part, the bigger part of the beauty blender. And I'm kind of blending in the, the harsh lines between the contour and the highlight. so that. And to blend out my nose contour, I'm going to take my Shani Cosmetics B12 Brow Bone Highlighter Brush. And I'm going to use that to blend out my nose contour. Just gonna go in with a little bit of the LA Girl uh, Pro Conceal and Coutin to add the highlight back in because sometimes it get lo gets lost when I do the nose contour. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Remo London Transparent um, Translucent Powder with my BRB S42 Coastal Scents. Um, blending brush and I'm just going to apply that to where I put my um, concealer to set it. You gotta go and, get angry with all of my honesty. and I didn't really like that brush to set my concealer so I used my beauty blender. I just dabbed it right into that um, that translucent powder and I just I just set it with my my beauty blender. Next I'm going in with some airspun translucent powder and I'm going to apply this first the, this is the first part I'm going to apply to set my concealer and I'm kind of baking with this but I do take it off after a little while maybe like one or two minutes next I'm going in with my Rimmel London bronzer in 22 sun bronze and I'm going to use my Shani Cosmetics F80 blush brush to apply that to where I put my contour And now I'm just removing that airspun translucent powder with the same brush. And next I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget powder in Earth. And I'm just going to go over my contour with that just to deepen it up a little bit to, to warm it up. And next I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses HD setting powder and banana and I'm going to use that to apply to my highlight. So under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my under my contour to sharpen it and I'm applying, first I'm applying that with the beauty blender 
And then I do grab a cosmetic sponge to apply it to my, um, underneath my contour to sharpen my contour line. And I allow that to sit for about 10 minutes. Next I'm taking my Real Techniques sculpting brush and I'm using some of my Ruby Kisses mineral powder in Ebony and I'm applying that to deepen my contour a little bit more. And I went ahead and applied my eyelashes off camera and I'm taking my Shani Cosmetics F80 blush brush and just removing that banana powder. And the lashes I use are Kiss Lashes in 11 and I stacked two of them. And then I'm just going over my highlight and contour um, just to blend the two together just to kind of like so I don't have any harsh lines, I'm just blending them together. Next, I'm going back in with some more of that Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder in Ebony and I'm going to add it to my contour to warm it up just a little bit more. And next I'm take, uh, taking my Coastal Sense BRB S13 brush. And I'm taking that color, my palette dropped and broke, I'm so mad, it makes me sad, but it's okay, the show must go on. And I'm going to add that to my lower lash line and um, just to smoke it out. And I didn't really like that brush, so I went and took my Coastal Sense um, tapered blending brush and I um, used that brush to um, apply the shadow because it, it was just way better. And then I'm going in with that dark brown color on top of it to um, smoke it out just a little bit more. Next I'm going in with this highlight color and then I took that, um, that blending brush from before, I think it's the F13 and I'm going to apply that into my inner corners. And I really do like that, that color, it's like a copper color and I just blended it out with my Next, I'm going in with my Benefits Cosmetics Mascara again, and I'm just going to coat my lower lash line with that. Next, I'm taking my F80 Blush Brush by Shani, and I'm just going to add that blush into um, to the apples of my cheeks and up towards my temple. Next I'm going in with my Missy Lynn palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to take my BRB S39 brush from Coastal Scents, it's a fan brush, and I'm going to take those two um, highlight colors and mix them together and add those to the high points of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, a little bit on my forehead and temple area, and um, to my cupid's bow. Next, I'm going to take that highlight color in the Missy Lynn pal palette. It's an eyeshadow highlight, a uh, brown color highlight, and I'm just adding that to my cupid's bone a little bit on my brow bone. And I'm going to go take my Georgiana lip liner in Cabernet, and I'm going to line my lips and fill them in. Next, I'm going in with my Milani Matte Lipstick in number 73 called Matte Love. And I'm just going to apply that right over my, um, my lip liner that I put on. Ooh. 
and I finished the rest of the lipstick off camera and I just went in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and showered, showered in it. And that does complete the look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, I will see you guys later. I know that you've been hurt before, but girl, I won't give up I know you heard it all before, I know you heard enough I ain't like those other